You know what really gets under my skin when it comes to the likes of the Trevor Noahs, the Lily Singhs, the Amber Ruffins, all of these fraudulent comedic acts that get pushed forward by the Hollyweird industry is that they are nothing but a pale, not even watered down version of what already came before them. Ladies and gentlemen, what is before you is a show called In Living Color that ran during the 90s on Fox. Must see television of the time. If you walked into school or if you walked into work the day after a new episode of In Living Color came on and you didn't know the jokes, you you, you were lost in the sauce. Like, yo, you, you, you were ostracized. It's not, you ain't want that. Why? Because this was genuinely funny and hilarious. And I want to give the utmost props to Keenan Ivory Waynes because he he got on, he put his people on, and you know, they they they're all just you know they're they're all doing well they they ain't hurting for for too much of nothing and and he was the um i guess the uh the genesis of all that if you are if you don't know the difference between him and uh, i think that's tommy davison uh yeah that's keenan ivory waynes right here i know that the resolution isn't great and i know also know that i'm kind of running my mouth a bit because i I don't want to get this taken down via copyright. (laughs) So with that being said, let's get into uh, one of the, the, one of the sketches. And yes, I will be cutting in because of copyright and the like. That's called fair use guys. Let's do this. All right. (laughs) Well, let's meet him anyway. Say hello to Mr. Rajim Carter. Come on out, Rajim. All right, so if you're not getting the setup, it's black like you, where these where two nerdy brothers is coming across this quote unquote revolutionary brother, and the contrast is just amazing. What's happening is we're doing a show. (laughs) So I mean, let's just cut right to the chase, Raj. Right to it. You know what is your beef? All right, first of all, I want to say uh, how glad I am that there's finally a show like this here where we brothers can discuss things like that. Where's your brother? Hey, come on, come on. Like, you know, brothers, come on, brother. Like, t- t- uh, okay, so uh, David Allen Greer. He was really uh, good for this part, this, this this type of role, which was playing, you know, the, the revolutionary. All right, we have to go about this, this deciding how we going to spread our words around, brother. When we talk like this, when we put emphasis on words like this, I tell you, my brother, I tell you, my man, when we can accomplish anything. I, so... <laughs> That is, that is, uh, that's the caricature in which he's taken on. And remember, guys, yeah, fair use. Let's keep going. I didn't say I'm backstage. No, 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 no. I'm talking about us three brothers. I think oh. you're kind of confused. Yeah. Oh, we're the brothers, brothers. You're a black guy who came to complain about something. <laughs> ago guys this is 30 years ago and that like all of the um critical race theory all of the you know blm and you know saying oh black trans lives matters and all that other stuff i mean it's satirical man like satirical and this was a thing back then so to have all these johnny come lately's like sit here and still try to push that energy, and after after a black president, still try to continue to push like that. That energy is nonsense. Man, I'm not here complaining. See, I just want people to know how the man screwed me up. The man, the man. <laughs> what, what man? <laughs> you know the man, Mr. Charlie Bobo. His- white folk. Okay, he's about to go all just white folk. In general, right? <laughs> Just generally speaking. Ah, oh, shoot. Ah, oh, crap. We'll, we'll get back there. Get out of here. I think you're kind of confused. Yeah. We're the brother. Man 
man screwed me up. The man. The man. There we go. What man? You know the man. Mr. Charlie Bobo. His legal system has railroaded me, brother. Well, there's your problem. Mr. Charlie Bobo's legal firm hardly sounds like a reputable one to me. If we're going to be honest, you want something that ends with a steam or a berg. Okay? Now, hey, 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 it's a compliment. I trust him now with the last name Bobo. I mean, <laughs> would you buy a home from Louis Bobo? I sure wouldn't. <laughs> Say what? 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 <laughs> Yo, Eleven Cullen was this. This, this is uh, it's this is why all of the, the the cries of inequality and representation, and how you know, like, oh, we want our stories told and stuff like that. It's like, guys, it. <laughs> That we we we've, we we we've gone through down these roads, you know. It, it's thanks to folks like the David Allen Greers. It's thanks to folks like the Keenan Ivory Wayans that, you know, so many different um, uh, doors opened up for other individuals. It, it's not a matter. It, it's just, it, it all really it all really is about you know how bad you want to go for it and your talent, how talented you are. And I'm t- to this day, Keenan Ivory Wayans. Is, is hilarious there i think it was like last year or this year there was a he went viral again for um turning off of a zoom call or he's wishing somebody happy birthday <laughs> and he just gets up and yeah like a, you know a nice shirt on completely butt-ass naked from the bottom down and just goes about his life and the funnier part about that is that his whole family's just like yeah there's just another day that just, just hangs out with his meat out oh wait the camera's on. So I, I don't know if that bit was on purpose or not, but either way, it's Ken and Ivory Wayne's to this moment is fucking hilarious. <laughs> Y'all don't even understand, man. The police arrested me for no reason. Oh, come, come on. on. The police don't do that. They're your friends. They're here to protect and serve. Yeah, well, my friends dragged me out of my crib butt naked. Well, gosh darn it, what the heck were you doing butt naked in the baby's crib? <laughs> if you can't get the joke, it's just like, yeah, it's like he, they, he's being, um, he, he's speaking in colloquialisms. I'm pretty sure I used that word properly. And, uh, they are just, they, they're taking it all insanely literally. And that's the good, that's a really good basis for comedy. That's why, you know, the straight man. Uh, no homo, right? Uh, is 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 such a trope, and you know who really did the straight man well was David Spade. David Spade and um, Chris Farley are probably the two best examples of the straight man and the loony guy because you need, you know, one can be ridiculous and the other one plays off of that ridiculousness, and I, and it's a it's a really strong. Uh, way in which to set the tone for whatever comedy that you have, you know, what, as far as rules go, I love it, I, I, oh man, this is, I love talking about this shit. Now, don't y'all understand, man, I went to prison for eight years, and the only thing I learned was how to resole shoes. Well, gosh darn it, you should be darn happy that you learned a trick. You're a darn <laughs> You know, the, a, a, an extra element of the hilariousness of this is that, you know, when brothers go to prison, when people, individuals, black, white, green, blue, purple, go to prison, it's not to be re- rehabilitated. It's just to, you know, waste taxpayer money. And one of the sadder parts, and this took place in the 90s. So, like, like yeah, we're going to teach you how to resole shoes at a time when people just, you know, throw their shoes away when, they're, when they no longer have any need for them. It, it, and so, thusly, you know... It, it, I th- this part of it, the, tr- the truth that it speaks to, you know, where technology um, outpaces, you know, a, a trade that somebody learns, basically making learning that trade a complete waste of time. Uh, it's something that I picked up. Nobody wants to get their shoes resold anymore. Oh, heck, I've got a few pair backstage. You can start on them right after the show. You can even shine them for me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> shine your shoe like yeah 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 go get your shine box huh <laughs> go, go, go. <laughs> basically Joe Pesci them 
<laughs> like, go get your shine box, eh? Hey, 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 hey. This kid, he used to, he used to shine, you should shine out my, my, my loaf was for a nickel. It was beautiful. You, you, you could see your face. There was just nothing but a reflection. You know, now go get your shine box, eh? <laughs> So that's the end of the bit, and um, yeah, I just want to take some time, uh, do a video on why all of these, you know, um, new age acts are trash because they 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 draw from a time that really no longer exists. Like, there's a lot of inequality in our in there's a lot of equality in our inequality now. You know, like it wasn't a ma in, in many cases it wasn't particularly a matter of elevating quote unquote black folks because remember there's a difference between descendants and you know everyone else but uh it's a, a, a it's, it's a matter of keeping um you know people <sighs> yeah you know what guys done all the internet stuff. If you liked it, toss it a like. Dislike, go ahead, do that too. Nobody's scared of you. Sub if you enjoy my fantastic voice and when get videos like this every single day. Share because sharing is caring and YouTube and bitch you don't like aren't the biggest fans of your boy over here for very obvious reasons. Bang the bell for notifications. Get something from the Teespring. Check me out on Patreon as well as the link in the description and speak. Let me know. What do you guys think in the comments? Ah, man, this this was funny. This was this was super funny. The bet that the, we all know what the best bit was in all of this, but good illustration as to why these guys suck all right but you may disagree that's what my comment section's for until the next one